What's going on guys, Bowie here, and this is a video walkthrough for Android Firewall. Um, I would quickly try and touch on the features I think are worth mentioning and just basically give you a quick rundown of the app. Now, Android Firewall is a fork app of Droidwall. Um, what that means is the developers took the coding for Droidwall use that as a base and basically built their own um, version of the firewall from there right so the look and feel of android firewall will be very familiar to droidwall if you use that right um all the all the features that are found in droidwall you can find in android firewall now there's not really that many features to begin with so that's not really saying much so yeah anyways here it is Android Firewall. Um, now the features I think are worth mentioning for this firewall is uh, notification support, this one here, and multiple profiles which you can find in this menu here, right? Yeah. Create, load, uh, blah, 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 blah. But first I'll talk about notification. Um, why I think it's worth mentioning is um, when I'm running a whitelist setup, more often than not, I would get comfortable running the setup and forget that apps that I just installed are automatically denied access to the internet, right? Now, it happened a lot with Droidwall. I would install an app, it doesn't work properly, and then I wonder why it's not working. I'll uninstall it, reinstall it until poof, I remember that I have a firewall running. So, um, the notification uh, support it has come in handy quite a bit when I was running Android Firewall. What it does is, whenever I install an app and that newly installed app is requesting internet access, I get a notification saying that the app that you just installed is requesting internet, internet access. Do you trust it? Do you blah, 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 blah. If I trust it, I'll go into the, the firewall and add it to uh, the whitelist like I'm doing right here for Modern Combat 5, right? If I don't trust it, if I'm not too sure yet, I'll just ignore the, the notification, right? So, it's come in handy quite a few times. Um, multiple profiles, that I think it's worth mentioning because... Um, Let's say there are some apps on your phone that are questionable, right? I mean, I have a few apps, a few games um, that require internet access, but sometimes I'll notice that those apps are requesting access to the internet even when I am not using it. Like, it's like in the background. I haven't run the app, I haven't touched the app in like weeks, but then I'll notice that... Um, it's trying to access the internet now I don't know why so um, I just leave it off the whitelist right but when I want to run the app I have to enable it access to the internet so what I do is um, I have my default profile which is the profile that I run 24 7 and then I'll have another profile which I will create and um, it'll be the exact same as my default profile with the difference of those other apps are added into that profile, right? So um, whenever I want to run those apps, just for that that one time, I'll go into uh, the firewall here and load up the profile, right? So I have one here set up for third-party markets, right? I'll quickly load up the profile, use the market. When I'm done using the market, downloading whatever it is I want to download, I'll go back and reload my default profile so that's that uh, for uh, multiple profiles right so uh, already touched on notification support and multiple profiles alright now widgets for widgets you have the uh, standard enable disable widget which is here oh, I can quickly tap it to disable when I want to re-enable it tap it again and it gets re-enabled right um, you also have uh, this widget over here which is like the same thing you have the uh, enable disable but then you also have options to choose profiles right so if I want to load up my default profile just click that and it's loaded right 
Um, you also have the options of adding widgets for profiles, right? So there's three that I have in the middle here, right? Um, the one on the left is my default. The one on in the middle is my third party, and the the one on the right I haven't set up yet. But let's say I want to quickly load uh, the profile for uh, the third party market. So I'll just quickly tap. It loads. Uh, go use my uh, the markets or whatever. When I'm done, quickly tap this to load my default profile again. So that's pretty much it for Android Firewall. There there, there isn't really much to talk about. So. I'm just going to end it here and I'll create another video now for AF Wall Plus, which has a lot more features. So stay tuned. Check it out. Later.